Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up a brand new product here for 2020 Topps Archives Baseball. This just released today. It is the 19th of August. This uh, product, of course, has been coming out for the last several years. You get two on-card autographs uh, this year. The cards represented in it are the 1955, 1974, and 2002 design. So every year, Archives takes on a new design uh, that they, you know, base the cards off of these uh, older sets. So pretty cool. And I think this year they got some kind of a new box topper. Yeah, you get these posters on top, which look pretty sweet. And we have a PC one too right on top, which is what I like to see. It's pretty sweet. So in here you get two autos, 24 packs, eight cards per pack. Um, it's pretty sick. Folds up, David Ortiz. That's actually really sweet. I like yeah, that's that. pretty cool. Big poppy. Something and Nothing different. crazy. It's literally a piece of paper, but whatever. It's kind of cool. Pack art this year is sweet. I was like, yeah, the the, the cool. The look of the box is really cool. It is. Um, it looks sweet. Yeah, the packs do look really cool. Whoa, Lucas throwing the packs off camera. Deion Sanders. And this is the what did you say it was? Fifty five. So Fifty five. Yeah. Yep. There's a bow. He's on the box. That's cool. Yeah, I like that cool. bow card. Yep. And this is the seventy four Paul Molitor. Uh, Dubon rookie and Justin Dunn rookie. This is cool looking. Kyle Lewis rookie. Uh, number 12 and instead of 30 full color picture cards. Obviously representing a full color TV. So that's cool. And then the 2002 Johnny Bench and Andy Pettit. So autograph checklist in here. You've got 49 of the fan favorite autographs. Um, and those fan favorite autographs are going to be sort of your 90s, 80s, mid-tier baseball players. Yep. Um, no one crazy, not really anything of crazy value in there. Mostly like 5 to $10 autos. Um, then you have your uh, premium fan favorite autographs. Uh, there's 12 of those, and those are all superstars. Um, so guys like Mariano Rivera, Mike Trout, Tatis, all have autographs with that. Here's a Keston Huria. Selected by the Youth of America. Uh, Tops All-Star Rookie Second Base. I don't know, 60. I'm not sure what that one, what the insert is there, but definitely something. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know either. It might be a 50. It's with the 55, so. <laughs> yeah, it could be a, an insert from that, that era. And Kenley Jansen. Definitely has that era look to it. Yes. I know that TV one was also from, I don't think it was from 55, though. But anyways, fill us in on the, the comments below. Yes. Anyway, back to the autos, you got the premium, and then there's a mini autograph checklist, which is pretty loaded as well. Yeah, the minis are low. Yeah, there's some really good uh, names on that mini checklist, but you can hit some massive cards out of here. In the past, they've done things like they've had Bull Durham, they've had the Major League um, movies, uh, the actors from the movies sign cards. This year, I don't think there's yeah, they don't have one, so. anything quite like that, so... Because wasn't it last year that was the Sandlot, I think? Yeah, it was last year or the year before. The year's a blur. Yeah, but it might yeah, have been. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Reese Hoskins got a purple. That's cool. Oh, purple that's Bay cool. Ruth. Purple Bay Ruth. That's, that's cool. That's a really sweet looking yeah, card out of 175. that's a cool looking card. Uh, purple parallel. That's so cool. the purple are the most common. They're numbered to 175. Then you have the uh, silver, which are numbered to... Uh, 99 and the red 75 the blue 25 and then the golds are one of ones it's a gold foil actually yeah those are really tough to pull uh gary carter michael brantley javi jesus lazardo these look sweet aaron judge all rise <laughs> that card is <laughs> that's, awesome that's pretty cool looks that obviously um, looks like a courtroom scene now, i don't even remember what the set name is for this there's a set name i can't i saw it before <laughs> on the uh, checklist doing research, yeah. but i can't remember what it's called um, I don't think it says on here. Aaron's surname. I'm not sure, but definitely a really cool looking card. I don't know if I like it says that. on the. It probably does on the pack somewhere. Yeah. Gary Sanchez, Tom Seaver, Tony Gwen. That's a cool card. Yeah, that's a cool card. Bob Gibson. This might be our first autograph here. It's sure, it looks like, like it, it is. Mets. John Stearns. On card autograph. I know nothing about him. You're gonna have to help me. Me either. That's a nice, nice looking card. Um, he played in the '80s, early '80s. To oh, okay. All right, way to throw the card. Oops, I dropped it actually. All right. Uh, so yeah, '74 through '84. 
um, career batting average of 260. Man, I really like these 55s. Those look sweet. So if you're chasing autographs out of here, good luck. Um, it It's pretty tough. Um, you're, you know, the value of the set, it's, this has never been one that's gone... Well, I shouldn't say that. It's gone way up in value because people chase those movie stars that are in here. Yes. Um, but generally speaking, it is not one that people chase after. Not to say that the set couldn't go up, uh, but uh, definitely not one that people seek rookie cards of yeah. compared to Topps Chrome or Topps Yeah, update. exactly. That's a really cool Yordan as well. Now, there yeah. are variations in here. One is like a... I don't know. It might say on here, actually. Um, I looked at it before. Nickname, poster card, all-star rookie. I don't know what... I'm not sure what it, uh, exactly they are. Normally, uh, they're not necessarily super valuable, and they're usually pretty... There's a Lubob. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um, and they're usually pretty tough to find as well. Here's one of those, like, rookie of the year, rookie third base, uh, all-star All -Star rookie. That's the name of the insert. There we go. Evan Longoria and Kevin Newman. Yeah, there's all kinds of variations in here. Black and white, um, image variation. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of them. Um, full body image variations. So there's I, all I kinds saw of that them. one, yeah. yeah. CC, uh, and I think that's with this card, the full body one. Yeah, I think could so, be. Carlos, all right. A couple more packs here on this side. It would be really cool to pull, like, a. would love to get a Mike Trout autograph, and that'd be so... That would be very cool. There's an Aquino we'll rookie. Take, take that any day of the week. Got a silver. Matthew Boyd for the Tigers out of 99. All the numberings on the front on these. Yeah, it was, a lot of times it's on the back. Yeah, usually. a lot of times, right, right, like, series cards, um, it's almost always on the back. Well, in this set, too, in the past few years, it's been on the back a lot, too, so... Yep. These are I like these. These are cool. It's kinda cool. No Syndergaard, Thor, uh, the nickname insert. So those are just pretty sweet. This set's cool. I like the the I'm knocking over stuff in the background. Uh, the year designs I think look cool. Like I like the 2002. <coughs> yeah. I like the 74, and I really like the 55. So yeah, I don't. 2002 I like is so so in my opinion, but. Um, I do like the 55 and 74. Definitely cool. The 55 brings me back to uh, my dad had some old 55 cards, and I remember looking at those as a kid, and so that kind of jumps out to me. And then the 70s, my friend had a whole bunch of 70s cards that his like uncle gave him or something, and we would sit there and make fun of them because they would have like blue baseball gloves and really long hair and you know all kinds of the 70s look uh of the players and uh, just a fun childhood memory sitting up in his attic in the summer looking at old baseball cards uh trout and otani uh angels elite and then we have manny machado he's having a good year and ryan howard i already screwed up my piles oops sorry i i do i do um if you're a fan of uh, the boxes and the design, this one, to me, is probably the best one of the year. Yeah, because there are some people that do collect. Um, I know a couple of them, or not know personally, but like I know of a few of them that just collect the boxes or sealed wax or whatever That's just because cool. they think it looks cool. Bo so. Jackson. Yeah, we we had a huge collection of them, but we couldn't keep them all. It's just too much. It takes up too much yeah, room. Yeah, we couldn't store them. Yeah, Carlton Fisk and Barry Larkin. So We, we still keep them. Yeah, we still keep a few, but it just, yeah, it's cl so much clutter. Um, it is it is fun, though, to have a few of these around. Somebody we know also collects packs, like yeah. empty, um, you know, packs. Who is that? Somebody on eBay. Yeah. They'll, they'll message us once in a while and say, do you guys have any of these packs? Because they, uh, I've seen another guy on YouTube that would take... He'd open up 23 packs out of every box, and then whatever the case was, he'd take oh, the yeah. last pack and put it away for his yeah. collection. Which yeah, is who, cool. who was I, that's that? What I was, that's what I thought you were talking about, but I don't no, know who it I is. I can't remember who that is, but if you're out there and you're watching this video, identify yourself. That's actually pretty sweet if you had just an unopened pack of wax from forever. Before. Yeah. All right, so Rivera, George Brett. Talked about George Brett last night in our live feed. Um, with Daniel, um, that was pretty fun. 
if you haven't watched that yet, check that out. Uh, we had an opportunity to talk with Kansas City pitcher uh, Daniel Trillo. Tillo. Tillo, sorry. Not Trillo. Tillo, not Trillo. Tillo, on, sorry, man. Daniel. Um, and he gave us some inside information about the big leagues and that goings on. So that was a very fun interview. Yeah, super cool to be able to talk to a baseball uh, <clears throat> player who actually collects stuff. So very interesting. So definitely would go check that out and check out his channel. Yep. Um, makes really good content. Anything sports cards. Shane Bieber, that guy is just on fire. Um, Barrios. That's a new one. Yoshi. Justin Upton. And the Sandman, Sandman Mariano cool. Rivera. Those are cool. I like those a lot. Yeah, those are pretty cool. There he is, the Eck. All right, we're looking for our second autograph. Let's see if we can pull a big, big name out of here. We've never, have we ever pulled a big name out of archives? I don't, I don't even think we've ever hit a rookie auto out of no, archives, we've, period. No, we've not opened up tons of this, but, yeah, we definitely have Ted not. Lynch that's cool. that's cool. Um, Cal Ripken, that's cool. Ty Cobb and Braves, Ralph Gar. It's a cool looking um, an old design. One. Yeah. Uh, the 1970 design, correct? Oh, 71, sorry. Um, Ralph Gar. I know nothing about him either. So, definitely not a big name. That's what you're going to. That's. I would say 9 out of 12 boxes in your case are going to be just like this. You can look at his. Actually, a good batting average. 306. Out of yeah. 5,000 at bats. He's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Just not a not a household name, I don't no. think. Maybe to a um, Braves fan. but Or someone who just grew up watching baseball in that era. In that era, but... Goldschmidt, McCovey. I do. I always like archives. I think it's fun to look back at these older designs and see modern players in them and chance to look you know get some of these autographs half the time we'll keep these autographs and just put them in yeah, our we collection even, yeah, and we never really sell them, i mean we, so. we we might try to sell them but it's not it's really not about that i guess um just i just kind of like the base cards out of this it's and it's still fairly affordable i'd say you can buy these boxes for 100 to 125 30 bucks at most of your hobby shops and online so if you just want to get i mean the autographs there is a chase to hit some of the big autos yeah. but it's difficult um so if you just want to get some cards you know you can just buy a blaster so i'm assuming yeah if people try to buy these and flip them they're insane so well and uh, today's market i'm not sure but well yeah people are gonna try but i think tops has already sold work. out of all of their oh i'm stuff. sure yeah so <clears throat> but yeah it it will be a hard I, sell. I doubt it will be flippable. I'm a flipper myself, not with sports cards, sealed stuff necessarily, but other stuff. And I spend a lot of time on eBay, and I just don't think that archives is going to be one that people are going to be making lots of money on. That's for yeah. Sure. In the past, like I was saying earlier, with when they had the the movie um, stars cool. in there, yeah, that's a cool one. Kyle Lewis, rookie. That in the good stack. Oh, sorry. Randy Johnson. Does it say he is 6'10"? Yep, 6'10", right there. Spot on. So we had a discussion about that last night in our live feed, and one of our viewers said 6'10", and they were exactly right. Oh, this brings me back to uh, the day when they had these all-star um, all cards. cards. Yep. Yeah. And there's a... Bigio. All right, last pack. See if we can pull anything. Generally, I think out of a hobby box, you get about two parallels. Yeah, at least sometimes, in the past. sometimes three, but it seems yeah. like it was almost always two. We've opened a box of this since probably like 2016 or 2015. Yeah. Um, we've been opening this stuff, and every year it's kind of the same. They never really change it that much. Um, only thing this year is you're not getting those. those. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. Retail is actually pretty good with this product. Yeah. So don't be shy to buy retail. We've pulled autographs and yeah, autographs aren't um, that difficult. There's a lot of numbered stuff in there. Yeah. It seems like there's actually more numbered in retail right. than there is in hobby. So definitely give retail a shot if you're just looking to open up some things. Um, you know, and but for the price of a hobby box, if they stay around this, it's a definitely a fun rip. Just one of the products to me that is just fun to look at the at the base cards and 
um, you know, check out the design. Yeah, it's so, a cool, it's a cool set builder product if you're into building yeah. sets. Um, so three, 300 card base set. If we haven't said that already, yeah, so not crazy. I mean, two, three boxes of it, and some retail. You'll get there. Yeah, so. you should get it. Well, let uh, us know what you cool. let us know what you think, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you're doing well, enjoying the baseball season. It's been a ton of fun for us to watch sports again. In fact, right after we make this video, we'll probably be watching uh, some more basketball playoffs as well as keeping up with the baseball yes. games going on. Uh, so let us know what your favorite card was out of there. Do, you know, are you buying archives? Have you bought it in the past? Um, you know, what uh, was your favorite year? Do you like the 55, the 74, or the 2002 design? I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video.